doing now is we're, we had some concentrates we got off the river. We took the big stones out of them. And what this machine does, it separates the dirt and the sand from the gold. We got a little pump down in here and it's all self-contained. We put this concentrates on this little screen here. The water washes it down. The gold drops off down through them little holes, drops down into that mat. It'll run down off of this mat. This mat will pick up gold. The bigger stones will drop off here and go into this pan. And then it continues on down with the smaller stuff down this bottom tray. And underneath these ripples, there's a suction call, uh, caused, and it picks up gold there and sucks it underneath. And then when you're all done, you take the mats out, you clean them out, and you've got your you've got your gold and your black sand. You run it through again, and you separate that. And you wind up with just your gold. You never wash your push against the tide. You always go down with the water. You go against it, you knock some gold off, and it goes down in the pan, and you lose it. This is a, uh, a simple but a good way of spending a few hours on the river and getting your concentrates and then bringing them home and uh, bringing them home and, and uh, concentrating them out and then getting your gold out of the bigger rocks will drop down in there. You gotta go over them too because some of these rocks have little pieces of quartz spread out through them. And the quartz has got, a lot of times, it's got little pieces of gold in it. The gold and the quartz stick together in the earth, they're melted together. And uh, this is what we do, and we're, we're pretty good at it. Where are you located? We're located in Bandon, Oregon, out in my side yard. We were down on the river today, Doug and I, and we concentrated this material down to bring it home. We run it through this machine, and uh, whatever we got, he's going to take back to Washington and then show the people in the Windsor what we done. But no one seems to know who you are, do they? Pardon? What's your name? My name? I'm Collie Collins from the Windsor, 81 John Street. The Windsor School, South Junior High, Newburg Free Academy, and U.S. Navy. Wonderful. How's it going? Well, it, it's going pretty good. Uh, we're getting there. We'll have to run it through again when we get this. We get it down this bucket here. Have to clean the bucket out. All the small gold will drop down through there. There's a mat underneath. It collects it. I don't see any yet, but we're early. We're just getting started. A real hot day down the river today. The bugs and the bees and the horse flies and everything got to us. But we managed to get a little bit of concentrates and uh, show you people how this thing works. Uh, it's a good way of uh, prospecting. I belong to a club up here in uh, North Bend, Oregon. There's about 160 of us, and we got a, an 80-acre 80 80 claim, probably about uh, two and a half or three hours from here, over in the mountains. And we just acquired that last year. And there's supposed to be some pretty good gold on it. We'll find out this summer. But other than that, that's that's about how it works. You been doing this very long? Oh yeah, I've been at it for several years. Ever since I moved to Oregon, I got interested in it, and I had nothing else to do. So I just a uh, little bit to get away from the house once in a while. I said, well, I'm just going down to the river. Then my wife give me a dirty look. But uh, it's a fun thing. When you're retired, this is the way. This is the way to go. Do stuff like this. Can you make anything? Any money? 
Can you make any money? No. no, no. Sometimes you don't even pay for your gas or that peanut butter sandwich you took with you. It's kind of hard. <laughs> what else you want to know, Doug? Uh, I want to see where the gold is. <laughs> well, we'll see it. It'll take a while. We got another half a bucket to go yet. You want to Nope. You can turn it back on again later, and we'll uh, we'll show him when we get down to the finish. Well, he can do some of it, and you could you could hold the camera on him, right? I got quite a bit of stuff to put through here yet. I want to try a different head on this. I made up my own head, and uh, I want to try another one on there and see if it makes any difference. See all these little stones? You gotta watch them close quartz. You got a white one in there, quartz. I got a couple in the house that got gold streaks through them. Mm. Nice stuff. It comes out of the ground shiner and the jeweler can do it. Mm. Interesting. We've got quite a ways to go yet. You don't know, but I'm making you to a movie star. Do you know that? You know we that? are, huh? All right. You're going to have to do a lot of doctoring on that. <laughs> we can do that, too. Yeah, going to need some doctoring. Never rub upstream. Always go with the flow of water. That way you don't knock the gold out of it. This, this machine you got here, about how much it costs to get in business? Well, I only paid $380 for this machine. Does it do the job? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a good machine. Good machine. A guy in Louisiana makes these. Mm. I got a couple of plugged up holes here. You got to watch every once in a while to make sure you get your spray back. See how I do this, Doug? Right, I'm that watching. spray comes right back. I'm going to put your key over here. Mm. Let me run a little bit. When we get to kind of where we're doing a cleanup, we'll show you how we do a cleanup. That's running pretty good. See how that goes all down? I don't see no gold in there yet, Doug. Most people think, you know, when you pan for gold, you take a pan and you just dig it in the, in the, in the, in the river bottom, you know, and, and it's not that way at all. We shovel for it, right? Yeah, you, you shovel for it. And then, well, you can get a lot. See, what we done today was we were digging a little bit up in, in, the, in the bank. But uh, these are what you call a high banker. This machine is what you call a high banker. It's self-contained. You take your water with you, and you don't have to work in a stream. You can work out in the desert if you want to with one of these. It's a great machine. You tear, it only takes about 16 or 18 gallons of water in that tub, and you can run all day today and tomorrow with it. No luck yet, huh? Pardon? No luck? Well, we won't know till we start looking at the mats. I'm just going to let it run a little bit now, let it clear out. It's always good to let it run, let it clear everything out here. See where it pushes them stones down? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. This is Oregon gold. If there's anything in it that Doug's going to take back to Washington with him and let you people in the Windsor see what goes on out here in the good country. Do you have to pay the tax on it? In the good country. No, there's no tax on it. Okay. They got some plugged up holes again. I got to keep cleaning them. That's interesting. I wonder who invented that thing. Some guy from Louisiana. Saves a lot of work, don't it? Oh, yeah. It saves all that panning. We'll have to pan a little bit when we're done. You know, but see it, these rocks are going down here. Mm -hmm. We'll probably just see how much we're getting in here. We'll get... Well, we've got a long ways to go yet, so I'm going to change the heads on it pretty shortly and see if I can get a different spray going.
I think I'll do it right now. Let her run down a little bit, and I don't want to change the heads around. That's the first time this this machine 